here I've set up a circuit that could be used as a volume control in a loudspeaker and I'm using the bulb to represent the loudspeaker so the brightness of the light represents the loudness of the sound and we can see that by changing the variable resistor I can change the brightness of the light which represents a, a changing volume in the sound output from the speaker so how does this circuit work? well again it's a potential divider and the potential difference provided by the battery is connected across the full length of the resistance wire here and then the bulb is connected between this end of the resistance wire and this contact in the middle so as I move the contact basically what I'm doing here is dividing the wire into two parts or two resistors which is the potential divider so here I've got a small bit that side and a large bit that side so I've got a small resistance here and a much larger resistance there and so I've got a small potential difference there and a large potential difference there and it's this potential difference here that is driving the current through the bulb so the size of this potential difference here is the potential difference across the bulb as I move it this way I increase the length of the wire so I increase the resistance and so I increase the potential difference across the bulb and so by moving this so changing the values of the resistance this side and this side I can change the brightness of the bulb which again represents the loudness of the sound from the loudspeaker okay, so that is a potential divider and you need to think of this as two resistors one resistor this side of the contact and one resistor this side of the contact and all we're doing by moving this is changing the size of those two resistors in your potential divider The circuit for the potential divider will look like this. Here are the two batteries and they are connected across the resistance wire and then there's the bulb and there's the sliding contact so this bit here I've got this resistor here and this resistor here and by moving the contact I'm changing the size of the two resistors in my potential divider where the potential difference provided by the batteries is shared between these two parts of the resistor and I'm just tapping off the bit of the potential difference that I need for my light bulb. As I move this this way, there'll be a bigger potential difference across the light bulb, so it'll get brighter. Here I'm using a potential divider as uh, balancing control in a circuit. Usually it's used with two loudspeakers to balance the amount of sound coming out of each speaker but because you can't see sound on a video I'm using two light bulbs to represent the two speakers and the brightness of the bulb represents the loudness of the sound coming from the speaker. So I can adjust the bulbs or speakers by changing the variable resistor here, the potential divider. So how's it work? Well, the batteries here are connected to this long resistance wire here that runs all the way along. And also, these two bulbs are connected in parallel with that. So I've got the resistance wire and the bulbs in parallel and then connected between those two branches from the middle in between the two bulbs to this contact that runs along the resistance wire 
I've got another connection here so that as I move this this way there's more of the resistance wire on this side so there's a bigger voltage there than there is there so I've got a bigger voltage across that bulb than I have that bulb so that one's brighter than that one if I move it the other way then now I've got a longer bit of wire there so I've got a bigger resistance there so I've got a bigger voltage across that bit than I have across that little bit so that means that I've got a bigger voltage across th that bit and that bulb than I have across that bulb and so using a potential divider you can control the balance of the brightness of these two bulbs and it would work just the same in a balance control on loudspeakers. Okay, here's the circuit diagram for the balancing circuit. I've got the two batteries and they are connected across the resistance wire of the rear stat and then in parallel with that I've got the two bulbs now if the circuit was like that then the potential difference across the two bulbs would always be the potential difference across the provided by the batteries and so each bulb would be equally bright but to make this into a balancing circuit I'm going to take a connection here to the sliding contact on the rear stat. Now this is a potential divider where I've got one resistor here and another resistor here and the potential difference provided by the battery is shared between these two resistors and that's now able to change the potential difference across each of these bulbs here so as I move this this way so this gets bigger so the potential difference across this one gets bigger and that gets brighter and the potential difference across this one gets smaller and that one gets dimmer so if I move this back the other way over here then that means that resistor gets smaller so the potential difference across that part of the resistor is smaller so that makes the potential difference here smaller and so the bulb is less bright. So that's a balancing circuit.